Hello everyone, this is my first tutorial since a long time. I haven't posted any or uploaded any tutorials since a long time since I had a lot of work to do and I didn't have enough time for, for doing new tutorials but today I'm going to do something new uh, I'm going to show you how to use reCAPTCHA version 2 uh, supported by Google uh, it's really easy to do it I didn't find any uh, tutorials about it so I thought of doing one so let's go through the process of installing or embedding the reCAPTCHA into your HTML script code using JavaScript or jQuery either will work so the first thing you should do is go to Google's reCAPTCHA website you can go through Google reCAPTCHA search you will find it the first link here so I, I'm in the page right now so the first thing you should do is register a new site for example comments page I'm going to like type local host and registration page registration page I'm going to choose the type of reCAPTCHA to be reCAPTCHA version 2 validate users with the I am not a robot chip box uh, and I'm using it in my local host so I'm going to type local host here accept the recapture terms of service and click register so you will be redirected to a page where you have a site key a secret key by the way the secret keys should be kept secret by the end of this tutorial this secret key will be deleted so don't try to copy it <laughs> uh, there are two types of integration first one is client side integration the second one is the server side integration but I'm going to be concerned with the client side integration so as mentioned here paste the snippet before the closing head tag in your HTML script so I'm going to copy it go into my registration page and paste it before the ending of the head tag go back and see paste this snippet at the end of the form where you want the recapture widget to appear so I want it to appear um, let's see where I want it to appear right here so I'm going to say form group and paste it here okay so I'll show you how to change this, the theme by the way but not right now the default theme is the light theme and I'm, sh I'm going to show you how to change it to the dark theme so now let's check the website let's refresh the page create new account now my recapture is here but actually it doesn't make any sense that the register button is always available to be pressed so I'm going to make it only clickable if the recapture is verified so let's see how first of all I have I have this disabled so I'm going to remove it and come back here refresh and now it's it's always available to be pressed so let's go and check how we can use the recapture to verify that it's a user registering for the website not a robot so first of all let's put a disabled attribute disabled attribute for the submit button let's check here it's going to be disabled here we want to make like uh, an indication or indicator that the button is disabled so we're going to 
I'm using SAS here. I'm going to put register dash BDN, the ID of my button here, register BTN, and I'm going to give it a cursor of not allowed. Okay, let's refresh here, and we will see that it's blocked of getting pressed. Okay, so let's go back. How do I make the user press the be, be able to press the, the, the submit key when the recapture is verified? First of all, we need to have a data dash callback function, which will be recapture underscore callback this is the name of the function I'm going to make you can name it anything else so let's go down here let's type script and let's type function recapture score callback so let's select the input of type submit so I'm going to say like var register btn will be equal to document dot query selected you can also use get element by id but I prefer using query selector as it accepts CSS styles so I'm going to say we can register I'm sorry register .btn remove attribute I'm going to remove the disabled attribute and callback but remember that we have set the Cursor to be not allowed, so I have to also change it to be pointer. For example, you can put it as default. So I'm going to say register dot style dot cursor will be pointer. Let's check here. So I refresh the page. Go here. Let's check, it's disabled, so let's press the checkbox, now the button is clickable. So let's see how to center this recapture in the middle of the page and how to have the dark theme. So you go here and type data-theme is equal to dark go back here check if it's dark yes it's dark theme now so how can I center it let's see so if I come to the form group that is the container of the recapture and for example I text center nothing will happen that's because this div is having a fixed width so let's type width equal auto so that's how to center it to center it this div unfortunately doesn't have any classes or IDs or an ID but it's it's obvious that it's the first child of the .g recapture div. So it's easy to select it either by two ways. Either I say, for example, here I'm having the div form group here. Let's give it a recapture container class. Let's select it here, okay, and type text align. And here, let's say recapture, 
this div I want to have its first div and give it a width of old so let's check here by the way I'm using sass here it's uh, it's pretty much easier than the CSS for me as it's compiled it will be converted to CSS instead of writing the whole line like this I just have to type as you see here if you have any idea of VSAS so let's check here let's refresh the page go into create account and now it's centered so don't forget to give it the class important and now it's always centered in the page that's nice so don't forget to like and subscribe if you find it beneficial for you and feel free to leave any comments below in order to figure out anything that is ambiguous for you. Thanks for watching.